Yeah, obviously really excited to um, have another season to go around again with the Brumbies. Um, probably the, big, the biggest factor was just the, um, probably the excitement that I have for um, the future of the, of the club. Um, love the young talent coming through and um, being able to lead the side as well was, was really special for me. And obviously, yeah, uh, having a break um, halfway through there was um, nice as well. So I guess I'm just excited about the future and what it holds. And, um, Hopefully I can add, still add value to that. And that value, do, is that, do you take seriously that role as a leader now? You know, you've been at this club for a long time and I'd say one of the most respected guys around here in general. There's a lot to be given on the pitch, but off the pitch, is that something that you really value? Your, your ability to give motivation, to give words to those young guys? Absolutely, man. I think um, it's always an honour to be able to um, lead, lead the Brumbies. There's been some uh, fantastic leaders that have been in the past, and uh, yeah, for me, it's always just been about mentoring and making sure that, um, like when I was a kid, making sure that I remember those times and that um, the young guys have a, a better experience than what I did. You know, trying to help them through and, and hopefully fast track them to be able to cope with Super Rugby. And on the pitch, is a is a case of unfinished business. You know, you've achieved so much in your time here, but is the Super Rugby title the, the one missing link, or is there other things that you, you know, you're looking forward to on the pitch? Um, other than the development, of course. Yeah, I think the Super Rugby title is always something that, that drives you and motivates you each day. It's something that I've been chasing for a, a little while now and got really, really close in 2013. And that something that sort of stuck with me a little bit, how close we got. Um, and then just the belief that I have in this um, club moving forward and the group that's um, being put together now. It's uh, I think something that's really, really special and um, something that excites me is um, the older head now, um, looking at the young guys come through and um, yeah, it's something that I really want to be a part of. So I guess the Super Rugby title is obviously the end goal. It's just about now trying to make sure the, the Brumbies is, a, is in a better place as well for when it is my time to finish up. There's certainly a strong finish to the season, maybe a few early season struggles, but we were very, very good in those last six games or so. What, what was the big change for you as, as someone who's seen a lot of good sides around here? What was the difference between the start of the season and that really strong finish? Um, probably the mindset in the Group P. I think uh, we spoke a lot about um, just not fearing failure and, and playing with, you know, um, no fear and all that kind of stuff. So seeing the, the group really prepare um, that way during the week and then produce on the weekend as well was something that, um, yeah, it's, it's exciting as well to see that happen. Like you can, it's easy to talk about things and um, when you see it actually um, put into practice is, is really, really special. So um, I think the mindset that, sh that shifted in the group and the belief that, that grew from that as well. And um, your own form as well kind of grew with that. Um, for yourself, was it that mid-season break that kind of made you refocus or did, did you grow in confidence coming back into Super Rugby this year? What, what do you think was the difference for yourself as well? A really good really strong finish for yourself as well? Um, yeah, pretty pleased with the, the back end of the year, probably from the whole squad in general, which helps. Um, yeah, I don't know, a tough, tough one to put it down to. It was a hard one to, um, I guess, manage myself through the year. The mid-season break definitely helped. It's the best I've felt um, coming back from that in the whole time I've been trying to return to play. So I definitely, uh, full marks to Ben Sopel and the, and the coaching crew for making sure that um, yeah, I had a little break and came back rejuvenated and, and a bit fresher and um, yeah, sorted out my health as well, which was the number one thing. And then yeah, to be able to feel as good as I was playing, um, that, that, that really helped with, I guess, that form. And now, off to Japan, another amazing experience on your journey. What are you looking forward to? Is it the culture, is it the rugby? What are you most looking forward to in Japan? Yeah, really excited. I think mainly the culture, hey. I think um, to be able to experience a, a different culture to Australia, um, we've experienced um, Ireland as a family and now to, to try Japan, we're really grateful for the opportunity to be able to go and, um, and experience that. Obviously the rugby is going to be a nice challenge and change up as well, which is something that I think the older you get, having that little bit of variation in, in what I do, being at the Brumbies as long as I have, it's, um, yeah, it's always pleasing to be able to get, be given an opportunity to go and experience that. So the rugby is going to be really special and then link up with guys that are playing over there as well, guys like Peter Kimlin who's former Brumby that uh, I'm really excited to, to link up again with and, and see how him and his family are as well. And so, launching forward 2019, 
what do you what would you deem success for this primaries group in 2019? Would it just be making finals again, or is it about making that step in terms of the development of the style of the attacking rugby? Is it is it pure results, or is it a, is it a more holistic look at it? Um, I think a bit of both, hey. Obviously, in a results-based business um, or sport, it's yeah. I think the ultimate goal is to try and win a Super Rugby title. But I think now I'm looking back on seasons in the past. It's about seeing guys grow and develop as, as um, people and, and rugby players as well. And something that excites me about this group, especially, is um, seeing the development in them as well as um, as a rugby team, as a side, and a, as a whole rugby organisation. Um, I think it's a, it's yeah it's in a bit of a change, but I think it's been nice for the group to have that. Um, obviously, been around a, a little little while, <laughs> well documented as you keep saying. But um, yeah, seeing all the different cycles of how it changes. But um, one thing that keeps me going around as well is obviously the constant change. You know, it's uh, guys looking to make the place better and people wanting to add to add value to. The, the Brumbies organisation as a whole. So I think, um, to answer your question, in terms of success, a Super Rugby title is always something we'll chase, but um, the development and growth of, of where we've come through so far and just seeing yeah, if, if you finish 10th this year and hopefully finishing higher than that. And finally, just for the Brumbies supporters, they've been probably waiting to hear word and they'll be very excited to hear that you're with us for next year. Just a message to them. Obviously, they've shown lots of support for you and for your family. Through, through a lot of stuff in the last two years. Just a message for them uh, about next year, about yeah. their support this year. Yeah, man, um, yeah, to, I guess to all the Brumbies fans, there have been um, massive support to um, not only myself, but the team. And um, yeah, we, we, the team can't thank them enough, you know, for uh, all, always turning out in, in big numbers to support us and, and help us through. It definitely um, something that makes this place special for me is the. Um, fan support that we have and uh, yeah we just want to continue to have that going and hopefully they can um, yeah, sign up again for next year and, and hopefully turn out in, in big numbers again to support I, I think what is a, a really improving and, and a, a special team.